can't park there, sir. Excuse me. <laughs> Honestly. I used to do that job. Um, yeah. yeah, but I wouldn't do something like that. Park, park somewhere proper, yeah. yeah. Thank you. All right, set me. Turn up. left. Brilliant. Tolkien Drive. Then, at the end of the road, turn left. After 300 yards, turn left, high view. See this road, it's coming up on the left quite soon. Turn left, high view. Thank you. Well, it's just part of the test, so whenever you're ready, you can drive on. Actually, show me question, um, because we haven't done some in the car, we did the one that was under the bonnet earlier. Um, would you see if you can either, if you remember, I don't know if I've shown you, so mm -hmm. my bad. Um, did we do the dipped beam headlights? I this one here is a dip beam headlights. <clears throat> what we're going to do is just twist it all the way. Okay. And then I'm just going to twist it all the way the other way, which just turns it off. So if you would just give it a twist all the way, that's it on, and then just twist it all the way the other way. That's it off. So that's a show me question, and the examiners would say, show me, or they, so they start with when it's safe, which means you take your time, mm -hmm. and you feel, feel safe. You can do the question and show me how you would turn on the dip beam headlights. Yeah? yeah. So what we'll do in a moment, we'll drive on and then we'll just do our show me question somewhere down here. Okay, take time when you're ready, drive on. So 
moment, there's uh, no rush. You don't have to do it on this road, you can do it anywhere else. But when it's safe, show us how you turn on your dipping headlights. After 200 yards, Fantastic. turn right, west Good end lane. Up. Then, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, Chapel Lane. And then we'll just continue to follow this out. Turn right, then, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. After 200 yards, turn right, Bridge Street. Turn right. Sometimes when the road's very busy, the examiners may ask us to go halfway. So as this lady starts to cross and traffic stops, go halfway for me. It's nice and slow, it's not too many. See if they let you out or not, but we can't force them to stop. Lovely. I'm just going to stop. A little bit more. And lovely. Thank you. And then just watch this crossing here. Thanks. Why is it always a BMW? After 200 yards, cross the roundabout and take the first exit, Marsh Road. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit. Lane. Go 
right on the roundabout and take the second exit. Good, nice driving on the circle, well done, that's okay. So another 50%, 100% if you need to. Um, but the only thing obviously you can't do is go the wrong way around the circle, right? So you have to look at the correct way. All good. Nice, good observations as you approach around about here, the early vision. After 300 vision. yards, turn right, Highfield Avenue. Right, this is another one that's a bit tricky to see, so I'm just going to help us with this next road on the way. So it's got the first one, which is here by the house. So if we start to break a little bit, slow down, signal now, signal right. You might just see it there as a gap. Turn right. That's our road, just turning right here. Position wise, you're completely wrong because you need to be next to the centre line. That motorbike could overtake us and then there'll be a nightmare. So take your position, defend your space. Pull over and stop on the left in a safe, convenient place. Good stuff. I just want to say why you've done so well on this road, because you stopped in a convenient space, i.e. the traffic, if there's cars, would be able to get around us here. So had we stopped maybe somewhere else, that could have blocked the road. So mm -hmm. well done. Now, the examiners may ask you to do this. This is all legit, real test route, real situations. So if you can't find a space, say there's cars parked all the way up this right side of the road and there's no spaces, there's no convenient places, continue to drive until you find one, okay? So it's okay, there's no rush. If you can't find one, you can't find one, but ideally just try your best. But I'm not saying that we were doing this, but some people do do this on the traffic test especially, because we're nervous. They rush it and they just go, Boom, ching. <laughs> yeah. Don't do that. Just nice and steady, like you're doing. Yeah? yeah. Well done. Okay. Take your time when you're ready. This is a bit tricky. Sometimes people forget the next turn. So at the end of the road, turn right and then immediately turn left. And sometimes you forget that one. They just keep driving down the road. Okay. <laughs> so we'll see if that happens. <laughs> All right. When you're ready, just follow the sat nav and drive on. Thank you. After 200 yards, turn left, Rosecroft Walk, then turn left. So if we take this next left and then continue to follow the sound. Turn left, then turn left.
hundred yards, turn left, center seal of grave. Turn left. Just pull up on the left side of the hill on the press. Anyway, so I'm going by the driveway. on this road if it's safe. So I'm going to put my hand up and say the word stop. Emergency stop. Mm -hmm. um, did we do this together? No. no. <laughs> okay. All right. Have you done this before? No. No. All right. Okay. So it will feel a bit scary because it's something you haven't done before. Okay. Once you've done it, you'll be like, oh, this is so easy. Okay. So how it works is the examiner will ask us to stop somewhere like this and then take time to explain to you that they would like you to do the emergency stop. Okay. So I'll just say, I'm going to put my hand up and stop. And that's it. So how we do it is when they say stop, we do not check the mirrors. There's no time in an emergency. Normally when we're braking, we just check to see who's behind us, so how hard we go on the brake, how it might affect traffic. In an emergency, there's no time, no mirror check. Just really firmly press the brake pedal. How firmly? I don't know if you've ever put your foot in an empty Coke can or something and just kind of squashed it, or a balloon maybe. You put your foot in a balloon and just squash the balloon. It's the same for the brakes. You just can put your foot in it and just squash it. Okay, there's no such thing as too hard. If that helps. Okay. All right. Now that's the easy part, believe it or not, but that'll be the scary part because you haven't done it before. Now the hard part is to remember to look over both shoulders into the blind spots before we release the brake and drive on. Okay. That's the bit people forget. Sometimes the examiners, I don't know. I, I think this is a little bit mean, but they'll do this. Stop. Drive on. And when okay. people hear drive on, they think immediately. Yeah. <laughs> so remember, jack, and then drive away. If you want a scenario, someone ran out, out after their football. Yeah. Maybe there's more people playing football. So we'll do a quick look. You know, we stopped for that one person. Anyone else? No, cool. No more on our way. Yeah. So I don't know if that helps. All right, any questions? No. Okay. Drive on when you're ready and be. Prepared for my signal. Happy you soon. <laughs> Tried it, yeah. it worked. <laughs> Congrats. Okay, we'll practice that some other time again, but for now, just drive as normal. We won't ask you to do that again. At the end of the road, turn right, and just have follow the same. So, how are we going to find this? So, we'll be ahead at this junction. It could be a little bit confusing. So, if it's safe, we're going to go ahead and then follow in the sat nav. Fantastic. So, this is just part of the test. The examiners want to see those observations at that junction. Turn right. That was nice. A bit smoother, slower on the approach. More time to see what's going on. me around everywhere I go, just in the middle of the road, waiting for me to just drive down the road. <laughs> oh, bless her.
After 200 yards, bear right, Eastern Avenue. After 300 yards, turn left, get bridge. At the end of the road, turn right, South Fork Gardens. The comfort zone now up. Turn right.
After 200 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, Victoria Road. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. After 200 yards, turn left, Pembroke Road, then turn right. First time I've ever seen an estate agent shut down. Yeah, there's loads of that. Yeah, usually something shuts down it's either an estate agent that opens or something else. Oh, the hairdressers as well now. I was going to say hairdressers <laughs> are <at> the end. <laughs> but yeah. It's good for me because the one near me can cut my hair one side too long. So now there's another one opened up. Okay, there. Just the next road on the right here, the one way. Turn right, west way. Then, turn right. Turn right, man away. Then, turn left. You're making me smile. <laughs> Stop it. Well done, that was good. Turn left. After 200 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, B466, East Coat Road. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. Beautiful roundabout, well done. Very smooth. Less early braking as you approach around the back, you go downhill, braking a lot earlier there, it's nice. And then that way when you get to around the back, it's just going to make everything so much easier. It's going to see our speed.
After 200 yards, cross the roundabout and take the first exit, V466, High Road East Kurt. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit. About turning right. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Yeah, you're on fire with those roundabouts today. See, it's uh, approaching. See how you're approaching smoothly. It really gives you that timing to just slot through those gaps. And uh, nice with the first roundabout, you saw the gap in your car, but then kind of passing so you added extra acceleration you know because you're in your timing it better you'll get through quicker so that's nice to see as well how you're altering your speed depending on the situation yeah after 250 yards turn left Catlin's lane turn left yes just here Nice speed, it's good steering, beautiful junction. See how you came onto this side? Do you remember the beginning of the test where we're a little bit wider? Yeah. yeah. It's the speed again. Maybe one of my accidents because of speed. No details will be shared here. Oh, you mean that, that was the other day, though, wasn't it? Not today, though. No, 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 not today. Yeah. At the end of the road, turn right, turn right, Chamberlain right. Way, then turn left. So just so we can get a bit more space, ignore the sat nav, not just gently on project, so hopefully it doesn't talk too much. At the end of the road, turn left, and we'll get a road with a bit more room. Turn right, then turn left. Lovely, and take the next right. Someone behind us, so just keep going. Uh, pull up on the left, please, in a safe place. Don't worry about the yellow line, just stop on the yellow line for me, or just give yourself room to move away. That's fine. Thank you. All right, when you're ready, drive on. I'm going to go do the parking, so I'll point the car out when we get closer. Excellent, thank you. Okay, so it uh, looks like the green car, the green one with the L plate white roof so when we get closer if you just stay in the center of the road and stop parallel with the green car and then reverse park don't worry about the yellow line on the driveway a little bit closer there you go a little bit more sorry so it's about a meter we, we don't want to be more because if we're more then it might block the oncoming traffic or traffic overtaking okay Take your time, absolutely no rush. When you're ready, I'd just like you to reverse park. I haven't been taught this in like two years. Okay, um, this will be very helpful. Okay, yeah. If you do have any further questions, ask, I will help. Otherwise, just give it a go.
brake on. Turn the steering wheel to the right or keep the brake on. Have a look at the camera as you're doing that. Just keep turning to the right and hold the brake. Stop. Hold the brake. Keep turning the steering wheel to the right. And just keep your foot on the brake and just keep just keep going. Keep just turning the steering wheel. No, no, no. Keep your foot on the brake. Keep your foot on the brake. Okay. That's what we want to see. So what can we see on the camera? The orange ones lined up there. You've got it. Okay. Excellent on your observations. Ta-da! Lovely, you can see these uh, wheels here. Just try and turn it until they look nice and straight. Yeah. And got it, and then just secure us up. Lovely. Finally, we'll know it's the end of the test, wheel one or mock, when the examiner asks us to turn the engine off. So if you give us the power button press, now we can completely relax. Yeah. Well done. That was a good route. It was a good drive. Um, what do you think? Pass, fail, any questions, anything you're not sure of? Um, I think, I think I just felt like a little bit rusty. A bit rusty? <laughs> Alright, okay. Um, cool. Um, so there was only one significant fault. Yeah. The bicycle box that we stopped in at the traffic light. No, okay, yeah, I didn't even see that. I thought not. <laughs> and I was like sure. thinking, which is why I didn't look at the light, and then I was like... Yeah. If it wasn't for that, you pass. Okay. Yeah, so it's just a technicality, if you like. Yeah. So it's good that we identified why you said yeah. you hadn't seen it. Yeah. It was a bit faint. The markings were quite faint. They're not okay. brilliant. Like, they're not even as bright as those lines. You know, they were faded out. So, yeah, just a bit unfortunate, I think. Okay. Um, the rusty bit, um, you want to elaborate on it or just the rusty? Speed and, like, turning. Good, yeah. yeah. Just a little bit on that. Yeah. Thing. So what I just say is the only bit that we'd want to um, polish up, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, is the speed on the approach to junctions. Mm -hmm. So sometimes when we're stopping at a junction, you might feel a little jerk when we brake at the end. Yeah. So the way to overcome that is to have more brake earlier. So I know it sounds weird because the theory test um, has a question about this, so it can confuse us. Anyway, so what we're doing is we're braking earlier and firmer. So it's harder at the beginning. Okay. And then when we come to the end where we're going to stop, we're not taking our foot off the brake, but we're just gently releasing a little bit of pressure. And then that way we won't have that. The jolt, yeah. Yeah. If we've done it the other way, we get the jolt. Okay. So it makes sense. It's soft, 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 hard, hard, hard. Yeah, okay. Yeah? Yeah. So it's just about the other way around. Okay. That's it. That's the only thing that I'd like you to focus on. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Cool beans. Um, all right, I think we're going to kind of conclude here. We'll have a little short break mm -hmm. and then we'll go and do another test route. Yeah. Yeah. Cool beans.